Hey guys, Irate Gamer here, and yes, I am back finally after such a crazy Halloween season. And one of the things that made it so crazy was I released a book called uh, Ghost Hunting 2.0 Breaking New Ground. Now, I, I have to say thank you to everyone who purchased a book uh, because you know a lot of you guys are, are starting to uh, finish up reading that book, and I'm getting a lot of nice emails from people who... Um, who read the book and understand uh, the message that's in the book. So I am so excited to get my message out there and, and reading the feedback on something that I spent hours and hours on is just fascinating. Uh, you know, it, it's just really, really cool. So yeah, this path, past month I've been doing all kinds of promotions and whatnot on this book. And what was really neat is I ended up getting a few awards on Amazon for this book. Uh, I ended up getting on a few top 20 lists. I also landed the number one hottest new title under the paranormal category uh, for a couple days. That was really cool. And for a while there, my book was ranked above Zach Baggins' book. So that was pretty interesting to see. And it's just been a lot of fun doing this. I, I One of the things that I did was an interview on a national program called Coast to Coast AM. It comes on late at night. Uh, the host is George Norrie, who's a really cool guy. Uh, when I sent them uh, some of the information uh, about you know what I cover in this book, it really piqued their interest and they're like, wow, we need this guy on as a guest. So they booked me and yeah, I, I couldn't have be had a better time on that program. I mean, some of the, um, it, towards the end, there are some uh, people who called in. We had some great uh, conversations. You know, they had some great questions for me. And George seemed, George the host, he seemed really, really interested in what I was talking about. And I tried to, you know, fit in as much content from the book as possible that could fit in, you know, a little two hour segment. But uh, yeah, it just, I, I, received so many emails afterwards from uh, a lot of his fans and uh, yeah that they were very very interesting so you know I, I'm glad to have uh, piqued the interest of so many and yeah there are a lot of interesting things that have come out of this book and I'm, I'm so glad that it's finally uh, out and getting out there and the message is being received so well uh, one of the interesting things about you know, going on coast to coast is it is on very, very late in the evening. Uh, I was on from 3 a.m. in the morning to 5 a.m. in the morning. And of course, I can't stay up that late. You know, I'm getting older now. But, you know, I, I did, I went to bed really early and I set my alarm for 2.50. So the, the alarm went off, made myself some tea. And uh, yeah, they ended up calling me like 10 minutes later. And, of course, you know, I was all jazzed up, ready to go by that time. So I'm just glad I, I was coherent enough to uh, carry on a conversation at 3 in the morning. I, I think I did fairly well. So if you guys aren't checking my Facebook channel or my uh, Twitter account, another cool thing that's been going on uh, is that I uh, attended this paranormal conference over the weekend. Now, this was pretty darn cool because they had a lot of big names in the paranormal field that were there. They had... Um, John Zaffis and Grant Wilson and a couple other big names. And, you know, I was uh, among them all to talk about my book. Uh, there was different lecture spots and whatnot. And it was kind of cool because when I went up there to uh, present my lecture, uh, I'm sure everybody thought, oh, you know, who's this guy? He just came out of nowhere. And it was kind of cool because once I started talking, everybody was just engaged. They were like, holy cow, this is cool. Because what I do with my research, I talk about stuff that has never been presented before uh, in this field of research. And, and you know, I, I've said this plenty of times before, you know, I use psychology, philosophy, ancient texts. But what does that really mean? And unless you read the book and, and attend one of the lectures that I give, you, you, you really don't understand it until I present it in a way where, where uh, it really engages people and grabs their attention. So... It was kind of neat because at certain points, I would look around the room and everybody was just like transfixed on every word I said. It was awesome. It was amazing. And it kind of caught me off guard because after I, I got done presenting, 
uh, I was walking back to my table and it was just surrounded with people wanting to buy my book. I was just blown away by that. So yeah, I, I was so excited that my research is really catching on with people and, and people are able to understand it in a way that relates to them. And I can't tell you the the feeling that I got when I'm just walking around. I mean, this was a big place that I was in and I would just be walking around and I saw people just carrying my book. I mean, it that was a very, very cool feeling. I've never felt like, uh, felt anything like that before. So what a cool feeling to be accepted by all these people. And, you know, I, I'm always, always humble. I mean, it might not come across that way uh, with the Irate Gamer shtick that I do uh, on here, but uh, yeah, I, I was just blown away by it all. Uh, another cool thing that happened was uh, during the downtime, I, I I was able to talk with Grant Wilson of the Ghost Hunters for you know a long time and have a really good conversation with him, and uh, he ended up grabbing one of my books and he actually wanted me to sign his copy for him which was a big deal for me I, I was like oh my god this guy wants my autograph that's that's awesome so i i happily signed it for him and i hope he reads it because um yeah what a what a great honor for him to actually pick it up and yeah very very cool um interestingly enough when i was talking to grant uh he pulled out his cell phone and he did a, a quick video for his Periscope account, which uh, Periscope, for those who don't know, uh, is integrated with Twitter now. So uh, yeah, and I was in that video. Look at this, Red Parapest. You got fine folks here. Say hello, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Hello. But overall, yeah, this conference was pretty neat because yeah, there are a lot of big names there, and uh, I actually felt intimidated really going into this thing because I. You know, this is my first time out. I, I just wrote a book. All these other guys have books out, been on TV and whatnot. And I knew they'd be like, oh, who's this guy just coming in? Uh, but everybody I met there was really nice. They kind of greeted me with open arms. Uh, even when I was on the, the panel discussion with all the guys, uh, they were very welcoming. And, and you know, I, I was able to throw in some good jokes in there and really contribute some really interesting nuggets that uh, that just really aided to the conversation at hand. So yeah, I do really feel that this is the beginning of something interesting because I've tapped into something that no one has really uh, tapped into before. Uh, John Zaffis, uh, great guy. I was telling him a little bit about it and he seemed very receptive as well. And interestingly enough, uh, I was supposed to do another, uh, um, what do you call it, like, paranormal conference with the uh, guys who were on paranormal state if you remember that show with uh, ryan buell and his team uh i was actually supposed to do something with them this weekend but i guess attendance wasn't what they were looking for and they ended up having to cancel it but uh yeah it's a shame but you know it's cool because i am on their radar now so you know maybe in the future we could do something together. Uh, also, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, uh, you know, they're, they're seeing me do a lot of lectures now and, and starting to go around uh, to different parts of the country doing that. Uh, and people are like, oh, when are you going to come here? When are you going to come there? Uh, and my reply to that is the best thing to do is find the paranormal conference that's in your city and ask them to have me there. That is the best thing you can do if you want me to come to your city. Uh, you know, if you want the irate gamer to be there, that's the best thing to do. Just bug them. Say, you know, I think Chris Boris would be great for your conference. You know, uh, you need to look into having him. Give him my website. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's all you need to do. Um, you know, even at this one I just did the last weekend, I actually met some fans out there, uh, you know, and they were totally blown away. They're like, I didn't know you were going to be here. So <laughs> that was kind of cool. Um, I, I always love meeting the fans and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, if you want me in your hometown, you got to bug the people holding the event. And uh, you know, that, that goes for things outside of the paranormal conferences too. That goes for like comic cons and whatnot. Uh, if they don't know that you want me there, you know, they won't have me there, so bug them. 
So there you go. Uh, I had a great Halloween season, and uh, I hope all of you guys did as well. Uh, I am working on the next Irate Gamer episode, so that should come out soon. Uh, I've been slowly working on it, I should say. Uh, just haven't had too much time to really get videos out this last month. But uh, yeah, I'm back on the pulse. I've got all kinds of reviews backed up. Uh, tech reviews and video game reviews and whatnot. So, so stay tuned. And of course, the holidays are coming up. So, yeah, great. Things are going to get even more hectic, of course. And uh, thanks to the fans. Uh, I, I really appreciate uh, your support and your love and and, and everything. So, uh, yeah, thanks again. Game on.